Hi, this is Carlin Grammer, principal here at LaPorte High School. I want to welcome you back for the 2021 school year. Can't wait to see you. Hi, I'm Dr. Thad Mitchell, and I'm the associate principal at LaPorte High School. I am over in curriculum instruction, and I look forward for everybody coming back to school and having a great year. Go Bulldogs! Hey students, this is Mr. Lattermill. I cover the alphabet of A to E, so if you need anything, let me know. We're showing you introducing the foreign language hallway down this direction, which leads to the fine arts building. Glad to have you back. Hi students, I'm Ms. Martinez, assistant principal. If your last name begins with R-I-G through Z, I am your person. We are in the STEM building. STEM building houses our math and science classes along with our breakfast kiosk. We'll see you soon. Bulldogs. I'm Mrs. George, Assistant Principal for Leah through Rico. This is our Career and Technical Building. We are so excited to have you back. We missed you. Have a great school year. For it's a great day to be a Bulldog. Hey, hey, Bulldogs. Welcome back. We're excited to see you on Tuesday and those of you that are going to remain online. Okay, so this is the entrance to what we call B Building. We have our English department classes, which will be upstairs, and then our social, uh, social studies department, which is downstairs. This um, building hosts the 16,000th number. Um, and again, my name is Mrs. Lee, and I am over the student alphabet of EV through LEA. Go dogs! Oh, don't forget your mask on Tuesday. Hey Bulldogs, hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend. Wanted to share a little bit of information with you this morning, uh, just in preparation for Tuesday's face-to-face -face start. Uh, I know we weren't able to have our freshman orientation as usual, and I appreciate Mr. Zabrowski and our AP team putting that, that really good video together for you to kind of familiarize you with our, with our place and with our people. Um, I decided also to do a little more extensive tour of the building, and so I walked the building and, and tried to um, show you all the different locations um, at LaPorte High School. It's a little long, probably about 30 minutes or so, but uh, I hope it's helpful and um, enjoy. I'm out in the front of the high school right now. There is our main entrance. Over this way is B Building and teacher parking area over there. We have teacher parking behind me. There's Fairmont. And then over here is our natatorium, our senior parking lot. Uh, of course, around the corner there would be uh, theater arts and our PEC. Most of our buses, not most of them, some of our buses will be dropping off here in the front in that lane right there. So parents, uh, if you're dropping off your students, we certainly don't want you to get in there. You'll get caught up and not be able to get out. We do, on the outer parking lot here, allow parents, not the one that you're seeing right there, but on the other side of this one, uh, we, have a, we allow uh, students to be dropped off there, just the other side of the blue car, uh, back behind it. We do allow students to be parked up there once the buses are gone. We want to limit the traffic into this, and we have a lot of bus riders, so we want to limit the traffic into this front entrance. 
I'm out in the senior parking lot now. You can see there's our natatorium, there's our PEC, Physical Education Center, the Sanja Angelo Theater, and then over here is the wet, are the west doors. Uh, when we refer to the, refer to the west doors, uh, they're right over there. So this is our drop-off lane. We prefer that most of our uh, students who are being dropped off by someone else come through here. They would go down this lane and then we drop off by the doors. We'll have security officers here uh, to assist, probably have some administrators out here as well to assist you as you drop off. As you know, we only allow mesh backpacks and clear backpacks and we understand that some of our band members and some of our athletes have equipment that they bring to school with them. They can certainly enter over here at the PEC and the band hall where we have band directors uh, and drop those things off. So we have some students that will be entering over there. Just wanted to give you a little bit better view of the West Doors. And that is our patio area outside of the student center. Okay, I'm now entering our front entrance. We generally have personnel in here each morning to check for IDs, uh, see if there's anything students need as they come in. We'll also be checking for masks and so forth. Right here is where our visitors sign in. Students, you would go straight through those doors when you arrive in the morning. If you were to come late, you would go this way through the office. You would need to sign in there. All parents and visitors would sign in. So this is our student center and you can see we've got it set up for as if it were lunch right now. So what we've needed to do to, to get us more distancing for students is we brought some tables out in here uh, to expand our seating capacity. These won't be here all the time. We also have a hand sanitizing station for students right there. Right straight ahead, that hallway that you see there, that is moving to the foreign language hallway. Those two double doors over here, right there, lead to our counseling center, registrar, and other administrative offices. So students, if you ever seen your counselor, that's where you would go. And then over this way, you see our Memorial Gardens. And then we move here, and those doors lead to the B Building hallway. Right here, these doors, that single door right there, is the nurse's office. So if you ever need to see the nurse, that's where you would enter there. You always need a pass to go see the nurse. Here's our cafeteria. As you can see, we we have very little seating in here because this area is where students will line up to get their lunches. Uh, we'll be ordering lunches during the earlier part of the day, so students, to make this process quick, uh, they'll be prepackaged and ready for students to pick up. But there's not much seating in here because this is mainly for students to line up and get lunches. We're gonna move right through that way and I'll show you the rest of the cafeteria and then the students. Okay, this is the cafeteria with our other areas. Uh, the burger line is down here on the end. Obviously the gates are closed right now. We have another exit there. Here are the west doors that we showed you from the outside earlier. This is where they come in. So students coming in the west doors and then they would proceed down this hallway to either get breakfast or to move into the commons area and move towards their classes. Okay, again, there's the cafeteria, but I'm viewing it now from the student center. As you can see, we've adjusted the seating there uh, to allow for more distancing. We've added some tables. We've used, we're using the stage. Uh, we've spread things out a bunch in here. And so that increases our capacity. We're working on dividers for the tables. My understanding that those have arrived, we're simply waiting for installation. That may take a little bit, but we will get those in and that will even uh, offer us more capacity in this area. Okay, now we're moving from the student center into the foreign language hallway. So here's where Spanish classes are, ASL classes, and French classes all come up, uh, all take place in this hallway. We have, um, we have some offices here as well, not very many. There's a security station where one of our security guards usually is. This right here leads into the counseling center. Uh, we have some office space back in there. Um, actually, that's classroom space this year. Ms. Reuter will be in there. And then you can move this way to the theater classes that are across the way there. We're gonna go in those, but we're gonna go a different direction.
Now, you'll notice uh, some arrows on the floor. We made our hallways one way, and so this hallway runs clockwise around the building. And so they'll only be moving, the direction I'm walking right now is the only way you'll go during passing periods. Uh, now, in between classes, uh, we, we don't have the uh, single direction because the, the traffic is much lighter and it's easy to social distance in those situations. The classes in this hallway are the 9,000s. So if you're looking for a room number with 9,000 on it, this is where you'll find it. As we continue to tour the building, you'll see doors that move into what we call the quad. Uh, it's an outdoor area in the middle of the building. All these doors will be unlocked, so we know that the one-way hallways makes it uh, take some time to get across the way. So these are open and we can have traffic. Students can walk across here to get to the other side. So over there, you get towards uh, the STEM area. There's a door further along there for STEM, but these are all gonna be unlocked and students will be able to move across this area to get to rooms faster. One important note, in this foreign language hallway, we have one of our SRO offices. So one of our police officers has an office here. Um, he's moving around the building most of the time, but uh, a lot of times you can find him right there. Now, as we leave the foreign language area, uh, it kind of merges into fine arts. So while we still have foreign language classes on my left, as we move forward, you'll see that we have our art classes on the right. We've actually got some art displayed out in the hallway. But this is Mr. Darrow's class, um, and we'll step inside a couple of the rooms and have us to take a look. Okay, I just want to give you a couple of looks at a couple of classrooms in this area. This is uh, Coach Torres' Spanish classroom. As you can see, he is ready for students. Coach Torres not only uh, teaches Spanish for us, but he's also our head baseball coach. And here we have one of our art rooms. This is Mr. Darrow's classroom. You can see a rather large space um, for students to do projects and so forth. And they can move out the doors into the quad area where they have an outdoor workspace as well. Okay, so we're back out in the hall. We just came from there, so that's the foreign language hallway. And now we're, we've come and seen our art rooms here. And we're gonna continue with fine arts. And so we'll take a left here at this intersection to Bulldog Boulevard. And this is a one-way hallway to fine arts, the PEC, and the Bulldog Center. You can see this is a very long hallway. I'm gonna have you walk with me for just a second. I'm sorry if this is a little hard to watch because of the bouncing, but we get to some doors real quick. So what you'll have here is, is right here is what we call the black box. This is a theater arts room. Uh, it's a space where they can control the lighting and uh, practice one act play and different productions in there without using the stage. Then have a hallway here. Down at the end, if you take a left, that leads you into the Bulldog Center, which we'll see in a moment. And then this takes you to the theater. And when you go down that hallway, to the end down there, you take a left and move on down the hallway, and we have the theater arts classrooms that I showed you earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way down the theater arts hallway, just to make, give you a quick look at this. So if you take a left here, or right, excuse me, uh, you see a couple of rooms, that's where they keep props and so forth. And then in here is the stage. The lights are off right now. I'm not worth, real familiar with the lighting system in here, but it, this is the stage and then it looks out into the theater itself. We won't go in there simply because I don't want to mess up their lighting. But again, we make our way down this hall to the left. We'll just go down here just a little ways. These doors here also lead into the theater. Oops, excuse me. Actually, I'm sorry, outside, and then that leads into the theater there. And then you move there and you move into the uh, theater arts classrooms.
Okay, we're back out into onto Bulldog Boulevard again. There are the doors to the theater. That's where we've come from. That leads back towards the Warren Language Hallway. And we'll continue forward down towards the Bulldog Center and other theater, uh, excuse me, fine arts facilities and PE facilities. Okay, we're still on Bulldog Boulevard, but we come to the next intersection. You can see that to the Fine Arts Building, you go straight. We have signage to show you that. We also have maps uh, that say you are here. So if you ever get lost, this will actually help you find out where to go. It is a large facility. Um, but but be, be sure that we're gonna have people here the first few days to make sure that we can guide you in the right direction, especially you freshmen that haven't been in here. We're gonna make sure you get to the right place. So down here, we continue on to Theater Arts, or excuse me, I'm sorry, Fine Arts. This leads to physical education, and then back this way is to the Bulldog Center. So let's take a look at each one of these facilities. Okay, we're coming out off of Bulldog Boulevard now, and now we're going down to the PEC entrance. And so you'll see this is where we uh, have PE classes and some practices as well, and our gymnasiums have classrooms here. These are the three thousands. And we move down this hallway and straight ahead is Coach Thompson, our athletic director's office. We have various dressing rooms here. And then as we turn this corner by Coach Thompson's office, you can see that leads back out into the senior parking lot. So students can enter here in the morning if they have, if they have uh, bags and things they need to drop off that don't meet our requirements for the main building. Okay, we've left the PZ PEC. We're back on Bulldog Boulevard and we're moving down the Fine Arts Hallway towards our band halls, orchestra practice areas, choir practice areas. Now I'm just gonna have you stay with me a minute so you can see how this hallway works. It's a long hallway. Uh, you may not think you're ever gonna get anywhere. To my left, that's the PEC where we just were. exit the main building. This again leads to the senior parking lot. To my left is where Coach Thompson's office is that we just came from, right through those doors. Again, we have signage. And then we move down this way into our fine arts facilities. These are numbered in the 4,000s. So here is our choir practice room. And then to my left here, you see the band director offices, our practice rooms. Uh, this area here is where our band moves to the stadium. On Friday nights, um, you can see right across the way is Bulldog Stadium. Can't wait to get back in there and start playing some football. And as I come back around, I'll move back into the Bulldog Boulevard again. Uh, and right here are the doors to our band hall. And then here to my right is our orchestra area. And then if you go through those doors across the way is the old competition gym. We're not gonna go there, but it's the old competition gym and the natatorium. Those are both across the way there. Uh, those students that use those facilities probably already know their way around there, but just wanted to show you how you get access from the, from the main building. Okay, I've made my way back to that intersection in Bulldog Boulevard. There's the physical education building back down there is the fine arts that we just came from. And here is our Bulldog Center. That's where we're gonna go next. 
So I've entered into those doors into the Bulldog Center. Here's our strength and conditioning coach's office. This is one of our weight groups. And uh, around there, we won't walk there, but that's where you get to dressing rooms and uh, so forth. And then here's our big, beautiful Bulldog Center. Can't wait for volleyball to get started, basketball, all those other uh, great things that take place in here. This is a really nice facility. Okay, I've made my way back to um, our foreign language hallway. Again, there's fine arts. Now we're gonna make our way around this corner and move into what we call our STEM area. That's where all our science, mathematics, and, <clears throat> excuse me, engineering courses are. Again, this is a one-way hallway. We'll be moving this direction. And so we move into this really wide hallway area. And you are now in the STEM building. Right here is Challenger Way. We'll go down there in just a moment. That's where our Chattos meet, cheer practices in there, and we also have our planetarium. Over here, you see our learning stairs. We're not gonna go upstairs because it's a bit redundant, simply because what you're gonna see downstairs is identical. So we have our hallway into our STEM. We have towards the inside, which would be my right, our science rooms. Towards the outside will be math rooms. It's that way all the way around in a circle. And so um, upstairs is the same way. The room numbers down here are 10,000, you see they're 10027. So if I were upstairs, this would be 10527. So the 10 fives are upstairs and the 10 thousands are down here. Again, this leads out into our quad area where students can pass to get to classes quicker. Okay, we are moving down Challenger Way now. So here's Miss Watson's uh, dance room. These rooms are the, continue to be the 9,000s here. And then Ms. Natalie's dance classes are here. And then we move down towards our planetarium. Here's kind of a museum of our old planetarium equipment from the original, the original one. Uh, really a neat space. We're going to walk into the new planetarium for just a second. Okay, we're entering into our planetarium area. A couple of news articles from back when the United States walked on the moon. And then we'll move into our planetarium. You can see this is a beautiful facility and a beautiful space. technology in here that I have no idea about. But Mr. Hauser does a fantastic job of this. If you ever get an opportunity, parents and students, to come in here and, and watch a presentation, certainly take advantage of that. And that's where the actual project above us. Okay, we're back in this hallway in STEM. Again, we come from that way. That's where we were just a second ago to the planetarium. So we come back here. Um, we're gonna walk down this way, just so just stay with me for just a second. One of the new things we're gonna have on the campus this year is we have a space right here. And since we have, we're gonna have part of the buses drop off in back and part in front. So we're putting a breakfast kiosk right here so students can grab their breakfast. It's a grab and go and take that with them as they move towards their first period class. Students who, when they arrive at the school, will go immediately after they get their breakfast, or if they don't want their breakfast, they'll just go straight there to their first period class at 6.30. Class doesn't start until seven, but we wanna go ahead and move that way and, and have students in those classrooms uh, so that we're not gathering in common areas. Okay, so I've come down to the street that we were on, by the way, the big wagon is called Discovery Way. So I've come down to the intersection um, between Discovery Way and what we call Main Street. So again, there's STEM, 
and this continues to be stem and we're going to move down this hallway out those doors at the end that's how you get to our career and technology education department and we're going to go there in just a moment but i thought i'd show you just a couple of classrooms uh, here in the stem area okay this is miss renovich's biology classroom you see it's a rather large space great facility as well and our science rooms all look basically like this. Okay, now I'm across the hall from Ms. Renovich's room. This is one of our math classrooms. You can see again, really nice space. And we're ready and waiting for students. Okay, we're moving out towards down the STEM hallway. Um, as you can see, I'm moving the wrong direction, but uh, since I'm here by myself, we'll, we'll ignore that right now. Uh, continue to have math classrooms to my right, science classrooms to my left. And again, the doors in front of me, those will lead out to our CTE building, which we'll come back to later. But I did want to show you this. This is our live animal lab. Parents, you may have seen this. Some of you are younger students that may have not. But we've got all kinds of animals in there. They have a separate ventilation system and everything to keep the air clean. But I thought you might be interested in this guy here. Uh, he's, he's one of our main attractions on campus. While we're here by the live animal lab, I'll just show you. Uh, this is Miss um, Martinez's office, one of our assistant principals. And her secretary is Miss Chaplin. And so if you need anything, they're always happy to help you. And we'll take a quick look just to show you, uh, give you a good perspective of where we're at. So if we walk out these doors, again, that's our CTE building right there, which we'll go in a little bit later. That is our parking lot that the band practices on, our new parking lot tennis courts. Across the way, there's baseball. There's our softball facility, football stadium, Bulldog Center, and everything are right down that way. Okay, I'm back at the intersection of Discovery Way and Main Street. Here's a way out of the building, and you can go to CTE there, or B building, uh, going through those doors. And so we'll move down this hallway just a little bit. Now down this hall to my left are our yearbook classes and LPTV. Again, doors that lead out into our quad for students to move across to the other side of the building. As we keep moving this way, to my left is our library. Again, exit doors here. Um, is our library down this hallway are some mechanical rooms. We also have our uh, I guess our museum here, we'll take a look in there. So you can see this is our um, animal, muse animal museum biology classes, use this a lot, science classes. Uh, so we have a lot of different species here that you can, students can look at and learn from skeletons uh, and different examples of different kinds of uh, uh, creatures, for lack of a better word. Okay, I've moved out of the hallway again and into the library, which I showed you where that was a minute ago in from the hallway. But this is our library. We have computer labs towards the back there, uh, and we have computer labs inside the facility itself. Um, there's our, text, our library books. Uh, then places for class to meet. We also have professional development in here. This office 1411 is another one of our uh, SROs or security, our school resource officers offices. And you can find an officer there uh, if they're not out moving around the building. Um, you might be able to get one. Okay, we're continuing past the library down Main Street. What you have here is a credit recovery classroom. 
So students who've gotten behind on classes for whatever reason, uh, they struggled with a semester or whatever, we have an opportunity for them to make up using a, a program we have called Edgenuity. And those, those classes meet in there. Um, at some point we may have some after school opportunities as well. But most of the time students are scheduled for those during the day. The next facility here is our lecture hall. So the lecture hall is used for a variety of reasons. We do a lot of professional development in here, but some classes use this and we'll be using this, but we have, uh, we're able to make presentations from here. Um, it's really a nice space. Um, some clubs have meetings in here at times and so forth, but it's a, it's a great space uh, and you can hold over a hundred uh, individuals in those chairs. Okay, coming out of the lecture hall back into Main Street. This is our special um, special programs area. So we've got to see how we've got these marked as well. Um, these are different classrooms for different needs. And as we move forward, we're approaching B building. This is what we call the B hallway up here. To my left, we have principal's offices, offices for Ms. Lee and Mr. Loudermilk there. Their secretary is Ms. Cornette. They're always happy to help you if you need anything. These doors lead out. Um, you can see across the way is the administration building. If you take a left, that'll take you right down to the CTE building. Just to give you perspective of where we're at, back that way is the student center, cafeteria, uh, those areas where we were at the very beginning of the tour. Now, if we move this way, we move into B building. B building is uh, where we have our social studies and language arts classes. Language arts classes are upstairs. Social studies classes are downstairs. And you can see stairways are marked down only or up only. So if you're going up to second floor, you've got to go You've got to go over here to, to the left. Uh, if you're coming down, you'll come down there. We have restrooms here up, and we have the same, the same setup upstairs. So we'll move right down the hallway. I can just show you. Uh, a typical social studies classroom. By the way, the numbers for the classrooms in this building are the 16,000s. All right, here's a typical social studies classroom. The language arts classrooms are very similar. Again, really nice space. So I'm back in the I'm back in the B building hallway, and we're going to continue on down this way. Those doors exit into the teacher parking lot. Generally, students aren't access in this area, and um, but those lead into for uh, most of our teachers park. Right out there's doors is the San, uh, intersection um, with San Jacinto and Fairmont. And again, we continue to have classrooms here. But then you can make a circle. Again, these hallways are one way, so you need to be making these circles when you're when you're walking. And when you arrive over here, we have some large classrooms that are generally used for uh, dual credit, but dual credit's online this year, or this semester anyway, and so we're using those for classes that um, may be a little larger and we need a little more spacing, so we have some large classrooms here and there. We also have the same thing down here on the other side, and I'll show you those. So I've continued on down in B building. Uh, that's where we were. We're coming back here, and we've got uh, another little area. This is where in-school suspension is. Don't want to go there. And then this is one of our larger classrooms. We've repurposed some of these um, for different purpose, different different uses, but um, they have been used for classrooms. And uh, this one again is set up a little differently, but it is a classroom space that we have. 
pretty massive area, a larger classroom. Okay, I'm back in the B building hallway again. Uh, two more classrooms over here. And then to my right is Sergeant Novosaw's office. He is overall district security. And so uh, he's available and he's on our campus quite a bit. Uh, he's a very, very valuable member of our team. Helps us out a lot. And then here's the staircase to go upstairs. Those are the 16 fives upstairs, by the way. There's 16 thousands down here. And just like the STEM building, we add a five to it for the upstairs. Then we might move back into the B building hallway. And we're gonna make our way back to the student center. And as we do that, we're back now in the student center where we have the cafeteria tables. And this is the nurse's office door that I showed you earlier. So if you need the nurse, that's where you go. Again, this is a staff area only, but this leads down to some offices. And there's our memorial gardens. All right, the next thing we'll do is we'll go look at the CTE building and wrap up the tour. Okay, so I've walked out of the STEM building, making my way across the street here to the CTE building. Here we have all our CTE courses, such as auto mechanics, um, health sciences, agriculture, welding, um, technology. We have some technology classes, um, a lot of great fun classes in here. We also have culinary arts, which is one of our big programs. There's the Bulldog Bistro, and through there we have a full kitchen where students learn to prepare dishes there, and you know, they make some really good food. Miss Leal works the front desk here. And there's our Bulldog Stop and Shop. So if you ever need anything, uh, any Bulldog gear, you can purchase it there. And we'll make sure that uh, once we've got them established, we, we identify the hours that that's gonna be open. So we'll continue move straight through here. Here's Miss George's office. She's over CTE. And that is her office there. And she's, she's always glad to help you as well. So we're moved into the CTE building. And again, one-way hallways here. We're gonna go ahead and go upstairs. We also have ROTC here. Don't wanna leave them out, it's a great program. So I'm gonna move upstairs and then I'll start filming again so that you can see some things that we have up there. Okay, we're upstairs in the CTE building. So uh, the reason I brought you up here is you can see some, we have a lounge area for students, but down here, um, you can see our welding lab, our facility down there. And then as we move around, we have various classrooms here for business, uh, so forth. Have some offices here as well. And moving forward, you move into our, you can see our auto uh, shops. Down below, you can see where we have auto shop at. Again, another fantastic facility. Uh, and we're, we're glad you're gonna be able to be a part of it and, and join us for classes here. This is our health science facility. I wanted to show this to you. A lot of great stuff here. Fantastic space where we were able to get students ready to, to enter the medical field. One of our more popular programs is CTE. I mean, the CTE program here at uh, Hope High School is our culinary arts program. And you can see we got a tremendous facility for that. Uh, we added a teacher into that area because it's very popular. And so, uh, excited about the growth that that program is seeing and we think we'll continue to see. 
That wraps up our walking tour of LaPorte High School. I hope you found this helpful. Please stay tuned for more information coming later today or tomorrow regarding startup procedures for Tuesday. Thanks and have a great day.